Jihadist group Boko Haram said Tuesday that it has abducted more than 300 students from an all-boys boarding school in Kasina in northwest Nigeria as punishment for their un-Islamic practices. Local officials said 333 of the school's 800 students were missing. The mass kidnapping came six years after Boko Haram abducted 276 schoolgirls. One 17-year-old Usam Mail managed to escape. Quote, positioned myself near the back and waited for a chance to run, end quote. He said, hundreds of my fellow pupils are still in captivity somewhere in the forest. The biggest East Coast winter storm in years is expected to dump up two feet of snow on parts of the Mid-Atlantic and Northeast on Wednesday and Thursday. At 12.45 p.m. Thursday, Dr. Robert Redwood, Chief of Emergency Medicine at Cooley Dickinson Hospital, will be the first frontline healthcare worker in Hampshire County to receive a COVID-19 vaccination. The first COVID-19 vaccinations for healthcare workers in the Pioneer Valley will be administered at Bay State Medical Center in Springfield on Wednesday, with Cooley Dickinson beginning to give shots the following day. fascinated by both fashion and art um, and I think finding a way to 
do both of those things and also kind of like have it make me a little bit of money on the side is really awesome. And also just being able to share it with people is really cool. We're all falling and we need a place to hide. I'm Andre Johnson. Um, I'm a junior and I run a very small online jewelry company called Things by Audrey. I have an Instagram, which I have a pretty good following considering I, it's just like a little jewelry store, but um, I sell to a lot of my friends and people that go to NHS or other schools. It's kind of fun being able to share what I do with the people around me. And um, I think that's actually my favorite mode of selling my jewelry and stuff like that. Um, I just started an Etsy store, which is actually pretty cool because I get to sell to a lot of people like across the country. I had someone in Louisiana and California and stuff like that, which I think is um, really fun. When I was in fifth grade, we were doing projects in, like on ancient Greece and I did one about jewelry. And then I still use some of the supplies that I bought from that project in sixth grade and fifth grade, which is kind of funny. But I definitely think it'd be a cool idea to try to expand um, this little shop and start selling on Etsy more. Maybe if it goes really well there, start my own website and really um, start to expand. Like I've had a few of my friends like be a hand model for me, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I really hope this business like expands in the next few months and years. Try to find your own unique thing because I feel like there's a lot of people that are doing like the exact same thing um, and just find something that's you because then that way you'll want to, you know, continue doing what you're doing um, and people will be drawn to that. Honestly, I think COVID in terms of this business has been really good for me and not even just as a business, as an artist as well, because um, I've gotten so much more time to be able to really explore my creative projects. Um, that's definitely something that I've really enjoyed. Um, and I've definitely taken advantage of my time. Like even in online school, I will constantly just be like looking down and doing like this right now, just making rings, completing origins, stuff like that. Um, it's, it's been a good thing in a lot of respects, but I know it's been really tough for a lot of um, small businesses that are not based online. You can follow my Instagram, it's Things by Audrey. Um, I post a little bit on there. Um, you can buy rings if you want. And I also have an Etsy, which is Things by Audrey Co. Um, yeah. Happy birthday to Cyril Reese Burton and welcome to Hamped Up. Y'all ready for this? This week's episode of Hamped Up, with COVID numbers going up, people have to take to doing outdoor activities inside, such as staying fit and health training. We talked to local business owner John Power and his son Jack Power to see how they've been doing this for years. Some people have really been impacted by COVID. Uh in their fitness and some people have pulled away from exercise because of like whatever they're busy doing zoom or it's issues of depression mm -hmm. uh, there's also people that have really bumped up their fitness you know they have to be at home yeah because they can't go to gym. one of the things that i focus on with exercise is really basic fundamental exercises and they're not just fundamental exercises they're fundamental movements somebody needs to be able to balance and, and lunge uh, squat is how you lift, it's how you get in and out of a chair. Um, planks, everyone needs uh, a strong core and a stable back. Um, so those three exercises right there are some of the most primary uh, and essential exercises for everybody. The basic at home exercise is a plank. Jack's in a good position, his elbows are underneath his shoulder, the toes are tucked under, he's going to straighten his legs, he's going to tighten his core and he's just going to lift. You're going to notice it's a nice straight line from his ankle to his hip, shoulder, right through his ear. You're going to hold it for about 10 seconds and then you just bend your knees and come on down. The important exercise is a basic squat. So, feet are wider than hip width. Spine is straight, neutral position. You're going to tighten the core a little bit. He's got the weight up around his chest height. The movement initiates from bringing the hip back. You drop straight down. Okay, so this is a view of the side. You can see he's got a neutral spine. His joints are all stacked up nice and straight. He initiates with the hip. You can see how his knee is not going to go over the foot, over the toes. Really good, good spinal position. 
that's the number one thing is everybody has their own unique body and sports places unique demands on people's body so um, you know during the regular season I'll do a lot of video of Jack while he's playing and if there's something that I don't like with his movement he and I will look at the video well, well he'll come in here we'll like we'll break that movement down it's like well okay you see how see there on the video you're not rotating moving extending whatever yeah. it is mm -hmm. so there's been several times that like you know, he's had some pain with baseball, and it's been like, boom, there it is right there. You're, this is why you have that pain. And you guys can just figure it out. Instantly, just pretty instantly. much instantly like this. Thanks for watching, and tune in for next week's episode. Today, on Rubber Meets the Road, we sat down with two aspiring stunt drivers and took a look at their car of choice, the Nissan 350Z. This car came into production in 2002 and since then has been a coveted model in the car world. We sat down with this week's guests, Pat Donahue and George Zaplin, who were nice enough to let us interview them about their cars and the experiences they've had along with it. The Nissan 350Z was offered in a six-speed manual along with a five-speed automatic transmission. Up until 2006, the 350Z only had 287 crank horsepower and 274 foot-pounds of torque. When they came out with the 2006 model, it finally broke the 300 mark at a peak horsepower of 306. Nissan came out with multiple different trim levels for the car, with the most sought after being the Nismo then the Grand Touring. To be more specific, Pat's the owner of a 2003 Grand Touring model while George owns an 08 Roadster. Owning a Roadster or other variant each come with their own pros and cons. On the other hand, owning a Grand Touring model gives you nice flowing body lines with the hard top a lot of consumers are looking for. While having a Z has its perks, along with it comes larger insurance payments due to the car being classified as a sports coupe. Also with these highly sought after cars, a lot of the time people overlook simple cons such as which gas you're supposed to be using. Although the price may be intimidating and could possibly be a goal later in life for some students, if you're looking to dive into the car scene, the Nissan 350Z is a great reliable car to get new enthusiasts started and satisfy longtime car lovers with the great aftermarket support. Hello, welcome to Blue and Gold Games. Today, we play Apex Legends with wellness teacher, Mr. Derby. Yeah, right, the hardest thing about teaching wellness is probably not oh being with the, the students. I can't like give them feedback, so uh, yeah. like, it's, it's definitely a challenge. Right, okay. oh, there's other people coming to where we're going. Oh no. Uh, so the morning before school for me usually looks like uh, uh, some coffee, <laughs> uh, a shower, uh, I make myself a, a really good, uh, like, shake that is like banana and dark cherries, and um, and it's got like this antioxidant like superfood powder. It's the best thing ever. So it gets me, it gets me like amped up for class. Yeah. Hey, I got somebody. Oh, nice. Good job. I'm out of ammo. No. I'm gonna get him. I'm just gonna melee him. <laughs> you got him, you got him. <laughs> oh, he he's go? running away. <laughs> he's running. So I use a couple different techniques to keep my class engaged during online school, which is um, I try to, number one, I try to like ask people questions and have them respond to me. So kind of like keep them on their toes. Um, I use the chat a lot to have them, you know, to do polls and um, I, I try to, uh, you know, use breakout rooms and use other like interactive tools to kind of keep people engaged and then check in with them about those things. Um, but it's a challenge, um, you know, because you do have some students that, you know, just seem to disappear, <laughs> you know, yeah. and in, in class you wouldn't have that, you know. Unless they went to the bathroom mm. and they didn't come back or something, you know, which I suppose yeah. that happens too. But um, yeah, so I, I try to just make it hard to disappear. Oh, I still don't have ammo. Wow. <laughs> no. Okay. 
<laughs> nice uh, try, nice try. Yeah, not too bad. If I had ammo, they would have been toast. <laughs>